Moves from afternoons at 4, September 9th on NBC 41. Neil O'Donnell, the quarterback of the New York Jets. Neil told us yesterday they have most of their offense in, but because of the changes in that offensive line, they haven't been able to, as he said, dress it up. He comes out throwing. Has time. Flag is down. That will be a hold on. And he throws this one away. But he had plenty of time. So they were buying him the time. And you'd rather in this case with that inexperience moved around offensive line. No. It's going to get a hand to the face against the Denver Broncos. That's two of the things they're looking for. Yeah. Offensive and defensive pass interference. And the big one, hands to the face by offensive linemen. Illegal use of hands. Number 90 on the defense. Hands to the face. Dan the Williams. The yard penalty. First down. And I should add hands to the face by the defensive lineman also. It's something they've really decided this year to take a serious crack on. Watch what these guys do. When they come up, the hand goes right into the face mask. See that right there? And the head tilts back. That's exactly what the officials are going to do. Both sides of the ball. 25-yard line. First down. Morrell tries the left side. He's going to pick up a few yardage. Now for an update on the New England-Miami game. Let's go to Greg Gumbel in New York. All right, Charlie, and before Dan Marino ever took the field, Miami took the lead. This is Drew Bledsoe throwing. The ball is picked off by Lewis Oliver, but watch him lose the handle right there. No, right there. However, Sean Hill is there to pick it off and finish the play. 70 yards in all, 7-0 Miami, Charlie. All right, thank you for the update. 7.05 here. Broncos lead it by a score of 7-0 here in the first quarter. And conservatively, the New York Jets continue now to stay on the ground. Is it easier with an offensive line that we've documented with moving people around, not having the bookend tackles that they wanted? Of course, with uh, Jumbo Elliott and David Williams with the injuries, Elliott with the groin and Williams with the back spasms not here. Is it easier to run than it is to throw? Well, in this offense, yes. There's not a lot of pulling, not a lot of motion. They zone block. Just come off the line and hit the guy in front of you. Doesn't matter if you're a center, a guard, or a tackle. That's not hard to figure out. Keyshawn is in. Keyshawn Johnson, number 19 wide to the near side. All eyes go to him. The ball, meanwhile, goes back over to Wayne Crabat. Crabat in his second year out of Hofstra. Of course, that that great story last year is we'll just see what Keyshawn was doing here. Well, remember I told you about Charlie, a wide receiver has to almost be like a defensive end, a defensive lineman being able to use his hands and get away from a receiver. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things this young guy's going to have to learn. I tell you, he's the whole package. He will be a great receiver, but he's got to learn a lot of that hand-to-hand -hand combat. Trebet, of course, the unknown free agent who really made a mark as a receiver for the Jets last year. Meanwhile, Dan Williams is going to pull down Neil O'Donnell. Well, we've talked about the injuries of those tackles. That puts a lot of stress on the guys that are in there, and it gives the defensive ends that are in, like Williams and Alfred Williams, a real opportunity. And in that case, pure bull rush by Dan Williams. You know, we talk about Mobley being a real impact player for this Denver defense. If Dan Williams can stay healthy, he will add just as much as Mobley. Williams has had eight surgeries in his short NFL career. He's got to stay away from the doctor. Second down, 14. Corvette in motion, coming back. Back to the ground. A very conservative offense for the Jets. Flags are down. Morrell was a ball carrier. And Jeff Graham out there on the... Uh, the outside of the offense right there in a little chicken fight against Washington trading blows with face masks grabbing face masks and that's the dumbest quite type of fight in the NFL see Washington hits him in the face first then hits him again in the face Graham decides well at least he's doing it when the officials backs turn you can tell that's that's the real veteran he does it when the guy's got his back turned but it's not very smart either way more like a slapping contest Oh, the dreaded mm. offset. Uh, oh, 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 they got. Oh, we had three of them floating around. A lot of everything. That that one motion, the last one you saw was a chop block. Mm -hmm. Something that the competition committee looked at this offseason and has decided very much to cut back on. 81 on the offense. First of all, crack back on the offense. Replay the dog. Oh. 
erase it all and let's start over. Well, let me explain a little yeah. bit about Crackback. Yeah. That is a player from the outside of the offensive formation coming in and hitting a defensive player that's engaged down below the waist. Mm -hmm. They're really going to cut back on that. They're going to cut back on offensive linemen chopping guys down, and defensive coordinators like Greg Robinson are very happy about people staying away from their legs or their big stars up front. Second down and 14 as we replay the down. Just over five minutes time remaining. We're in the first quarter and a gorgeous afternoon in Denver. Broncos are up, scoring on their opening drive by a score of seven other. Sideline timing pattern is no, incomplete. Webster slaughter right along the sideline, and we thought for a moment he might have it, but he does not. It'll be third down and 14. And so Keyshawn Johnson will be coming into that offensive set. Richie Anderson comes back in. I mentioned at the beginning of the game about Neil O'Donnell and, and Earhart are the guys that know this offense. They have to show a lot of patience with everybody else. One of the things you don't have to show patience about is a physical mistake like that. You've got to catch those balls when you get the opportunity. It takes plays away from Earhart is what he can call if you can't hold on. A shotgun with Anderson back along with O'Donnell. As pressure rolls out by his time. Heads for the sideline, and then he throws down the sideline to Keyshawn Johnson. No, they say he does not have it inbound. You got a flag down, too, on the sideline, Charlie. Yeah, Neal may have been past the line of scrimmage. So exactly. a flag on the far side around the 36. If he was past the line of scrimmage, of course, they will refuse it. They Illegal being forward pass. Yep. The quarterback was beyond the line of scrimmage. That's a five-yard penalty. Also loss of down. So the five-yard penalty and the loss of down will take another look. When the receivers get in this area here and your quarterback gets in trouble, you've got to run back to him. You've got to make yourself visible and give him a shot. Because when Neil Donald gets out and starts scrambling, you've got to give you somebody to throw to or this guy's going to get hammered. And here's the kick. It's not that good. Kitchen comes up, almost loses his balance. Slips a couple of tackles, returns outside the 35 near the 37-yard line. We're going to step aside for a moment. Denver on top, 7-0. You're watching the NFL on NBC. Today, more than ever, business isn't conducted in just one language, nor does it rely on a single currency or a universal set of rules. So what makes you think it operates at just one speed? That's why worldwide, UPS gives you more guaranteed on-time delivery choices than anyone else. After all, business today may know no boundaries, but when it comes to deadlines, it has plenty. UPS, moving at the speed of business. Herman Moore, be joy. Don Cornelius, come to ask you a favor. Don Cornelius, can you teach me to dance? What, like the funky chicken or the mashed potato? Oh, man, like the hands on Free your mind, Herman. And your feet will follow. Take the oath. This is my plan. Herman, you sure you from Motown? You, you, and you have the right to play sports until the cows come home. You have the right to assemble. You have the right to be equipped. You have the right to free speech. But anything you say can be held against you. That's life. Liberty. And the pursuit of the goal. But you don't have the right to remain thirsty. Not when there's Gatorade. Because every athlete has the right to be quenched. These are your rights. Now get out there and exercise them. Life is a sport. Drink it up. A special child held captive. His unique mind used to build weapons. How many people died because of what I thought of? Now, a renegade genius intends to make things right. I can be anything I want to be. You saved a life. He's not just one hero. He's the pretender. NBC Saturdays this fall. I made the point about Keyshawn Johnson. Watch, top of the screen, runs out. He adjusts. Nobody else in the team on that side of the field after they get the play about halfway through. If you're a receiver, you've got to help your guy out. Run across there. Get in front of him. We come back live now. Denver, their second offensive opportunity. This time they start from the 37. Now they set up deep. He goes to the near sideline. The pass is complete. And then fumble going out of bounds as he was hit 
by Ray Mickens. Ed McCaffrey, the intended receiver, we said he'd be picking on Mickens, and now he comes out throwing, and Mickens nails the receiver and jars the ball loose. Nice play. Well, his former teammate Aaron Glenn can tell when you get in the league, they're going to do this to you. They're going to go after you. And if you show you can hang with this type of a pattern, you can fill up, and you can make that kind of hit, they'll say, okay, we'll put that in the computer, and we'll remember that. They haven't tested him deep yet, though. He's got good speed, but they will take Miller deep on him. And speaking of Aaron Glenn, he's the starting corner on the other side. Last time they started together was the 1994 Cotton Bowl game against Notre Dame that you saw on NBC. Notre Dame won a great ball game. Aaron Glenn, speaking of him, he moves up and makes a tackle on Terrell Davis. 39-yard line. And there is Glenn. It really kills me, though, when you talk about, you know, who's the fastest in a, a matchup. It's gotten to the point now in this game where Glenn can say, well, I run in the low 4-3s, and Micken's the slow guy because he only runs in the high 4-3s. <laughs> the low 4-3s and the high 4-3s. Does that make you a possession <laughs> cornerback if you're only in the high 4-3s? Right. You, you have to cover the tight end. Third down eight. Elway fires and incomplete. Shannon Sharp. Hit it right on the left shoulder pad. I mean, that was catchable. Shannon usually has those. Well, and he had that matchup again, working against Victor Green, the strong safety. I mean, that's what John Elway wants to see, is his tight wide receiver, Shannon Sharp, running across the field with a safety chasing him. That's very catchable right there. I mean, you can talk about all the zip and the zap that John Elway puts on a ball, but when it's right there in your shoulder, in your wheelhouse, you've got to grab it. He likes to hit it between the eight and the four. Hit him at the top of the four. Still should have. Corbett. At the 16, he's to the 20. And then, oh, he is close line. Whoa, is he close line. Happy has opening day. Has he ever returned before? No, <laughs> this is his first time. They said, but he's got great hands, and he can do it. Tough kid. Nailed by John Mobley. Back in a moment. You're watching the NFL on NBC. AT&T presents A World Without Limits. Which team won a Super Bowl in a single quarter? Stay tuned. No matter what size fax you send, no matter where in the world you send it, AT&T guarantees it'll get there. Because now, AT&T has 70% more international routes, which means more ways to get around trouble and more ways to steer clear of danger. So your international fax gets through no matter where in the world you send it. Guaranteed network reliability at a competitive price only from AT&T for the life of your business. Trailing 10 to nothing in Super Bowl 22, the Washington Redskins went on the attack and a scoring binge, exploding for a record 35 points in the second quarter. MVP Doug Williams spread the ball and the glory by firing scores to Ricky Sanders, Gary Clark, and Clint Didier en route to a runaway Washington victory. At Budget Car and Truck Rental, we're in a simple business. It's about joining the right vehicles with the right individuals all over the world and in your neighborhood. And when you see people as individuals, it makes a big difference in the way you treat them. Here's some news from Budget that'll make a big difference to you. Starting September 3rd, get any Budget car up to a full size for just $25 per day on the weekends with unlimited mileage. Call 800-BUDGET-7 today. This is the NFL on NBC. John Mobley, lower left part of your screen. Have you got a special linebacker when he hits like that and he can make a mid-air correction? I thought only Plains made mid-air correction. He's reacting to a wide receiver and he smacks him. He took off and he landed right on the left. All right, here are the Jets. This time they start from the 21-yard line. They have been unable to really get any kind of an offense going. Well, very important, Charlie. They have got to be dedicated to this running game. You know Ron Earhart loves the running game. But with this four-guard, one-center offense and their zone blocking, Ron Earhart has got to just smack the ball, be patient, and don't really resort to big chunks and, and trying to get greedy. You won't get greedy against this defense because they're going to make you hurt for it. And you saw the comparison of the total yardage thus far in the ballgame. Just under three minutes left to go. We're in the first period. Jets are up. 
A jet flew down to the Broncos by a score of 7 0, and going down is Neil O'Donnell. Second sack, Harold Hasselbeck got this one. And that's working against Matt O'Dwyer, the right guard, 70. Watch this. Just a little butt, a little pull, and he's all over Neil O'Donnell. One more time. There's the butt, there's the pull. Hasselback is all the way by him. That's the second sack. I'm surprised right now, Charlie, to be honest with you. They're not throwing more three-step drop. With this offensive line, take three steps and get rid of it. Hit those receivers on the slants. From the shotgun, Keyshawn Johnson coming in motion, breaks over the middle. They throw outside to Quebec. Quebec slips the tackle. They'll go to the 24-yard line. That'll be a pickup of about five yards on the play. Is that is his second reception. Bill Romanowski with the tackle. And that means that the Jets will be kicking it away. Brian Hansen is the putter for the New York Jets. And Todd Kitchen is the punt return man for the Denver Broncos. Oh, Charlie, remember, too, they just got to Todd Kitchen from the St. Louis Rams. They have had nobody here to return kicks. They actually got Jeff Campbell out of the radio business to try last week. And here's a kick into the win, taken on the run at the 45. Comes to the near side, has a block, and slides his way to the 46-yard line as a flag goes down. Going to get an illegal block in the back, I think. We're beginning to get some swirling wind here at the stadium in Denver. That could cool things off. It was 90 degrees at kickoff. Here's the call. It will go against the Broncos, the return team here. The illegal block in the back, number 56, on the return team, on the run back. On That's Keith a 10 yard penalty, first down. As Kitchen was bobbling this, this happens right there. You see that right in the back? That's, uh, it, it escaped the first official, but it didn't escape the guy on the side. There's the wind that I was talking about. It's beginning to pick up. 37-yard line, first down, Denver. Elway right on target once again. This time, Shannon Sharp. Last time, Sharp did not pull it in. This time, he does. That is his third reception. He has scored the only touchdown of the ball game. Hey, you saw right there at the end of that play, a, a Sharp family trait. A Sharp family trait? Well, you know, his brother What's Sterling Sharp? and Sharp? himself, you know, they make that catch. They make that nice run after the catch. They go to the ground, and they get up like the parts aren't all there. They're kind of <laughs> taking inventory. They're, they're sort of they're sort of doing a little chumming for the defense right I think maybe 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 he slowed down a little bit don't buy it guys there's nothing wrong with him right now and we'll have the first measurement just barely but it is a first down All preseason long, Char, this New York Jets defense just blitzed the heck out of everybody. Really came after people. I think this defense has to resist the temptation of going after John oh, Elway. He'll, he'll kill you. You've got to play solid defense here. you got to stop the run, first of all. But if you blitz him, he's going to kill you. He'll pick you apart. Aaron Traver into New York territory. He'll go to the 48-yard line. But well, one of the most basic parts of football, if you're trying to shore things up defensively and stop an offense, is you have to improve your tackling. And here's a good example here. The Jets' defense is just a little bit off tackling-wise. Pretty good job up front done by the offense. You see, it's bodies on bodies. No big thing done. But he manages to run right through and over Eric Howard. A little sign that back might be bothering Howard. Pray for the remaining back. No way to throw. Sets up deep. Sets up in a hurry. Good protection. Comes back. And completes the pass. Coming back to Craver. Who was the lone setback in the offense? You know, this is really a, an interesting duo at running back with Craver and Davis. I, I talked about how it's basically two halfbacks. They love the block. But they also love to split tackles and make linebackers look bad when they're catching the ball. 
That's the end of the first quarter with the Denver Broncos in front of the New York Jets by a score of seven to nothing. 1996 Atlanta. What better place to ask people about the taste of Wheaties, the breakfast of champions? It's got that good whole wheat flavor. <laughs> good! You get something a lot more substantial out of Wheaties. A toasty flavor. If you think all cereal tastes like you've never had Wheaties. I've had to go buy this. The championship taste of toasted whole wheat Wheaties. The athletes' accomplishments will last forever. These five collector's boxes won't. Better eat your Wheaties. We did. Universal Pictures presents the story of a cop. You're under arrest. A criminal. How can you do this? And the end of a beautiful friendship. Damon Wayans, Adam Sandler, Bulletproof, rated R. Starts Friday. You can fly on these wings of freedom. Bex, the original import. Taste German beer at its finest. Bex, America's favorite German beer. So I pull into this gas station. Oh, classic over squeeze. Watch this. Release the hounds! Perfect pump. 2037. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> Even at the gas station, you can do more with the American Express card. It's time once again to sign up for the 96 NFL Gatorade Punt Pass and Kick Competition. Boys and girls ages 8 to 15 compete separately in local competition held in every NFL city. No charge for participation. Call 1-800-NFL-SNAP. This is Charlie Jones, Randy Cross. A warm day in Denver. Very hot. We're at altitude. First game of the season. Conditioning is not all that it should be. Well, the biggest problem I don't think is the altitude. The biggest problem is the conditioning. You can't simulate game conditions. You can't simulate regular season conditions. Preseason doesn't count in a lot of ways. Elway fakes, rolls, sets, has time. Now he's chased. Now he throws it away. Now let's go to New York for an update on the San Diego Seattle game. All right, Charlie, out in San Diego, the Chargers score first. Stan Humphreys will find himself all kinds of time and then find Tony Martin two yards away in the end zone for the touchdown with the extra point. The Chargers have a 7-0 lead on the Seattle Seahawks. Charlie and Randy, back to you. All right, thank you, Greg. And it'll be Humphreys to Tony Martin if the Chargers are to make a move in the West. They should, they should be a contender. They can make the playoffs if they stay healthy. Well, they got to be good this year. Everybody's picking them for fifth. That's right. That's a dead giveaway, isn't it? Here's Terrell Davis. Inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. It's going to be third down and nine. Yeah, people forget now. This Davis has got himself a 1,000-yard season under his belt as a rookie. Led this team in rushing. I mean, the, the lowest draft pick to ever oh, rush for that many yards. I mean, nobody's ever done it. How low was he? Number 196. You know, the he said guy, I drafted. What number? 196. Charlie, it was a good guess. It was not good <laughs> scouting. It was a good guess. <laughs> Elway. He is so quick. Goes to the end zone. Has his man touchdown. Ed McCaffrey. John Elway found the rookie Mickens. He had McCaffrey on him, and he made him pay for lagging behind the receiver. 39 yards. Mickens Charlie made the comment, when you're playing John Elway, you better cover for four, five, six, seven seconds. You know, rookie, you better get within three or four yards of the guy while you're covering it, or it doesn't count as coverage. And McCaffrey was pulling away from it. Elway, does he enjoy it? Oh, hey. Look at the guns on that. Yeah, I tell you. He is awesome. He's the best health that I've ever seen in the last decade. And he is a horse. Oh, he he is not a little guy. No. It is good. The Broncos move up 14 to nothing. We'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment. You are watching the excitement of the NFL on NBC. Oxygen. 
Introducing the all-new Mitsubishi Eclipse Convertible. It has quite an effect on drivers, too. The new Eclipse Convertible. From Mitsubishi. Last night, little Billy Green had to wait for his supper. His folks stopped by KFC where they can mix roasted chicken with fried chicken, where they can start their meal with spicy hot wings or sweet and savory honey barbecue wings. With everybody's KFC favorites in the house, little Billy had to start his meal a little later. Everybody needs a little KFC. And now start your meal with six wings pieces for $1.99, 20 for $5.99. It's fall. That means two things. Football and projects. That's why we're having the True Value Kickoff Kick-In Sale. We're kicking it off by kicking in bonus items and extra savings. So you can get all those projects done and still have time to enjoy the season. Pick up any four packages of Duracell batteries, just $219 or $259 each, and we'll kick in this full-size football free. True Value, official hardware store of the NFL and homes everywhere. The NFL on NBC is brought to you by the all-new Eclipse Spider Convertible. It's fun you can depend on from Mitsubishi. By Bex. Taste German beer at its finest. Bex, America's favorite German beer. And by True Value, the official hardware store of the NFL. 14 minutes and 9 seconds. That is the time remaining in the first half. And there's a young Brock of the future as Elam kicks it away. And down once again in the end zone for the touchback. Let's go back to the touchdown. When you play the Denver Broncos, you can't let this guy get outside, break contain, because he is absolutely going to pick you apart. John Elway rolling to his right is more dangerous than any other quarterback in the history of this league. The second part of this play, there's a difference between Foot speed and football speed. Mickens in foot speed is much faster than McCaffrey. On that play, McCaffrey's football speed is about four yards faster than Mickens. Just starting once again from the 20-yard line. O'Donnell, good protection, goes far side. Pass is caught and pulled in by Wayne Crabell. After the kickoff a moment ago, what happens? Well, all eyes, of course, are following the football. <laughs> But sometimes your day's work is never done. Yes, it waves. <laughs> and I'm wearing number seven, and I'm getting ready to replace John Elway. It all give me 20 years. She's in the pads. I wonder if she taped up. <laughs> Second down and four. The bet goes across in motion. And off back there's nice hole. And Richie Anderson comes through. This is the fourth offensive drive for the Jets. They have started three times from the 20-yard line and once from the 21. Well, you know, quick passes aren't the only things you can really exploit when you're running an offense you're a little unsure of. Quick passes and quick-hitting runs. That was a very quick-hitting run. Of all the running backs the Jets have, the guy that looked the best in the preseason at the quick-hitting run was Reggie Cobb, and he's in there at halfback right now. Reggie Cobb, number 28. Quick drop goes deep, overthrows, intercepted. Neil O'Donnell completely missed his receiver, and Lionel Washington picks it up. Now, here's an example. You can't always assume in a new offense that the quarterback necessarily threw it to the wrong spot. There's always a chance that that receiver wasn't where he expected. He overthrew that one, but there's a great example of that patience. Here's Graham, cut in, ball thrown right into the arms of the cornerback. Remember this defense, the corners did not have an interception last year in 95. Took them less than a half to get their first one in 96. Denver from their own 36, they go to the ground, and here's Terrell Davis. He's going to pick up about a yard on the play. Neil and O'Donnell. Yeah, you know, Charlie, like I said, Neil O'Donnell and Ron Earhart had better be very, very patient. You cannot assume 
Jeff Graham was in the offense with him at Pittsburgh some. He also knows the offense pretty good. But you can't assume your players are going to do it. It almost gets in a situation where O'Donnell can't afford to try to thread a pass because he really can't assume his guy is going to be there. L.A. Rose throws back underneath the coverage. Pass is complete. Anthony Miller goes scooting out of bounds. Hey, when you watch the Broncos and you see him going all to one side to McCaffrey and you see Miller on a little short pass, am I only the one that gets a little bit suspicious and says, when is Anthony Miller going to be heading down the field? Yes. When are they going to try to get him over on Mickens and take him deep? How about now? Well, he's getting pretty much man coverage real consistently right now with Aaron Glenn. They're up at the top of the screen. Little play action break. Going deep. Now, there was a misread by a veteran team. You were wondering when he was going deep? Well, he went deep there. John was figuring the defense look and a side adjust for him to go back. And Anthony Miller, the side adjust was, di was different. Well, Charlie, you know what I say about this? The other guys get paid, too. <laughs> yeah, Here's true. Aaron Glenn in the defense getting a little help inside from Green. They took Miller away. He could not cut back up the field. He could not do what John Elway thought he was going to do off that cut. Second down. Far side. It is there, right on time. Mike Girard. 44 receptions last year with the Giants. Well, another play. We wondered about Glenn. Glenn, are they going to go over there? Here was Sherrard. Now watch the tackling, or lack thereof. No breakdown, a little arm grab. That was pretty weak. That you can't have out of a veteran. Total yards, 167 for Denver. The Jets, only 51. Still 11 minutes to go in the first half. Running free, running free into the right side is Aaron Kramer. 35-yard line. Now, that is not a fullback's typical move. A fullback goes straight ahead. A guy that runs like a running back goes here and then tries to get outside quick and use the speed. Watch him try to use his speed. A fullback goes straight ahead here, but a halfback says, I can get more. I can get greedy. You can also get tackled, but you get greedy. 35-yard line, second down and six. Shannon sharp in motion. Elway looks far side. Clearing underneath is Terrell Davis. Sharp cleared it out deep. Terrell Davis swinging back underneath. Pulls it in right at the marker. 28-yard line. Like you say, Charlie, this guy says he can get 70 catches this year. Watch Davis out of the backfield here. Everything's cleared out behind him, and they hit him in the flat. That is the way you draw it up. That's the way Gary Kubiak, the offensive coordinator, and Mike Shanahan, they start picking things apart and you give them little cracks. And you got to be more aggressive with your tackling as a defense. First down, Denver. And everything is working. This is Terrell Davis. Just a quick note, Oakland lost to Baltimore today. Kansas City beat Houston by one if you follow the West. Denver up here. San Diego and Seattle are now tied. So uh, the, those are kind of the opening salvos of the AFC West. Well, if this Denver defense can really come to the party, Greg Robinson, their coordinator, has got a great scheme. He's got some talent now to do something with it. This could be an excellent team in what I think is the best division in the NFL, the AFC West. The Denver Broncos take a timeout. We'll step aside for a moment. You're watching the NFL on NBC. Perfect for any game, Domino's has the perfect play. Choose from three delicious crusts. There's classic hand toss, crunchy thin crust, or go deep with thick ultimate deep dish. So make the call and have it all. Call now, and you can enjoy a delicious Domino's pizza during the game. And why not add some of Domino's spicy buffalo wings or steaming hot breadsticks? 
Your brother was mixed up with some pretty unsavory people. They killed him. It was strength to come home. This is just the beginning. I won't stop until you're dead, too. Jean-Claude Van Damme, Natasha Henstridge of Species. Maximum Risk, rated R. At theaters Friday, September 13th. Dr. Katherine Homrick cares for some very demanding patients in upstate New York. I drive a lot. Some days I'll drive up to 300 miles.